Hi, we've got some feathery friends in the studio today. If you want to get up close and personal with these beautiful parrots, you are in luck because the Seattle Parrot Expo happening this weekend at the Auburn Community and Events Center. Yes, and today we're learning all about these little beauties over here. And we are joined by Debbie Goodrich and Ron Jellum with a Flight Club Foundation, not Fight Club but flight. So we can talk about this one, right? Yes, we definitely okay. can. Okay. I encourage it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the theme this year and what people can expect. Ah, Seattle Parrot Expo's theme this year is Go Green. So she's wearing green this today, which That's is right. Very good. green in any color. way. So mm -hmm. green in many ways. So the first way to go green is that you're going to get a rainforest immersive experience. We actually have a floral company coming in and we're actually decking out the entire place as much into a rainforest as we can. So you get that. We have lots of plants for sale too, including plants that are safe for parrots, plants that you should have in your home so it helps increase your airflow and things like that in your home so you can also maximize your oxygen so there's that kind of green and then of course we also have you guys trying to learn how to do more green things like the water refill station or recycling Very nice. that's wonderful I love that theme and people are gonna get to learn about more than 50 different parrots and even help raise funds to protect them so kind of tell us about how this is gonna benefit Flight Club Foundation hey so the way Seattle Parrot Expo benefits uh, Flight Club Foundation is actually our primary fundraiser for the year we actually have several fundraisers all year long but this was the big one so this is where we try to encourage as many people to come and see what it's like to basically be in a rainforest and see all these different parrots that are found around the world parrots are found on every continent of the planet the wow. way it benefits well pretty much every five of them anyway out of the seven mm -hmm. yeah is where they originally came from so um, the way it benefits flight club foundation is that all these people are going to come in and see these guys and the seeing the aviary of the 50 birds is a free thing that we try to offer for the community to learn about mm. so they can feel enriched and empowered about helping the environment. Then in return, we have raffles and auctions and everything else that we're doing for fundraising. So um, so basically, we get the grants and the sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. <laughs> um, without them, we wouldn't be anywhere. So it's them that really help the funding for Flight Club itself. Oh, of course. So the event is actually going to feature some special guests, including international parrot experts from all over the world so tell us a little bit about the kind of topics they're going to be sharing oh yeah so some of the people that are coming in one is uh, Hilla she's coming in from Germany Wow and she is a uh, parrot behavior specialist like myself I'm a parrot behavior specialist as well mm -hmm. and so she's coming in from Germany we're flying in dr. Brian Spear from California he is the only certified veterinary behaviorist that specializes in birds in the United States oh, that's and he is amazing. coming to Seattle Parrot Expo that's wonderful um, so it's really amazing and so those are the talks that are actually are helping fund Flight Club Foundation as well and, and you've got a fund lot of helping parrots yeah <laughs> lovely of course. and you've got um, fun activities food trucks you know artists and at the end of the, each day you've got a parrot performance for people to catch yeah Tell us about that. Fun. Yeah, so this is Jessie, my primary performing parrot, and as you can tell, she's already ready to go. Yeah. Wow. Um, so one of the things that this lovely lady likes to do is she likes to show you guys how her feet are. So if you take a look at her feet, her feet are just as long as her legs. So it makes it wow. rather impossible to do scooting behavior. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people go like, why do you teach your parrot to roller skate? Well, because these guys are no longer rainforest birds. They're city birds. So this silly <laughs> bird has learned to roller skate not just for me but for a lot of other people too like her host oh so you can actually just hold your hand out like that come over and take a treat just like that and you guys gently. can demonstrate exactly you guys get oh, to see and so demonstrate much. how even though these guys have a really amazing powerful mouth <laughs> they really don't like to hurt you yeah oh, that's very kind Pretty cool, isn't it? so the roller skating piece is that she's doing something beyond her physical ability so humans are the only other ones known for that interesting parrots can do it too Surprise! Wow. So we try to show that. And because she's a city parrot, she says she's got to help her rainforest friends. <laughs> oh, and tiny trash can. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so what we got to do is, of course, reuse, reduce, and recycle to save that rainforest, right? Yeah, I mean, right. we've got to keep that around. I don't know about you, but we can't eat air. Well, I mean, I can't, mm -hmm. sorry, we can't buy air, can't buy food, can't buy water. Like, uh, we can't buy food and water, what am I saying? Mm -hmm. You can't live without it. That's yeah, what I meant yeah, to say. Of course, of course. <laughs> so she's actually going to recycle for us. So can you recycle? You got one. Oh, she goes, oh, that's job. pretty exciting. Keep going. You got more there, kiddo. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And that's right. And then she's got some glass here, that. too, apparently. The mom in me wants to start singing the cleanup song. Clean up. 
clean up everybody everywhere. And if you do that, she'll actually will dance too. I see she'll do some dancing. If you sing clean up, can you dance all the way, dance. Look at that swagger. dancing. She's like, well, I'm kind of jiving. There we go. And then, um, obviously, in her case, uh, her biggest thing that she really likes doing is showcasing how these guys really do find uh, things and bring things back. So these guys, they're very good retrievers. So if you ever wanted a retriever in your house, just get a parrot. Just kidding. Uh, um, look at that. Yeah, though these guys dunk. are a lot of work to take care of, yes. and that's what we have. That's why we have this whole expo for, is so you can learn everything about parrots. Mm -hmm. Anything about in the wild, anything about what it takes to take care of them here with us. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. Fly Club does help a lot of parrots get into homes who need homes. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of triage, adoption, and things mm -hmm. like that too. So you guys are helping pay for all that. Beautiful. So definitely still possible for these uh, guys to, to, for parrots to be pets. You just have to kind of know what you're getting into. Absolutely need yeah. to know what you're getting into, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yes, they are still legal to own as pets. Um, there's no <gasps> rules and stuff coming up about keeping them which is great. We want those rules in place to mm -hmm. help protect them. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they are really remarkable to have. I mean, they are like our inspiration. That's what keeps us Ooh. going. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when these guys are seen by audiences that they see and everybody says, they come up to me and they say, this is the best day I've ever had in my life. Aww. When we do shows with them, they're like, wow, I had no idea. And I'm like, there you go. Wow. That's why we do it. It gives me goosebumps every time. Oh, that's so sweet. What yeah. better compliment is there than that, yeah. really? Yeah. I mean, you talked about it a little bit. What are some of the other reasons that, you know, events like this are so important in the world of just exotic animals in general? Um, what's really important is that we got to see all these different animals in person. <laughs> a lot of people, exactly. If we don't see them in person, we're not going to know um, what they really are, what they smell like, what they feel like, their actual size in comparison to your size. Yeah. A documentary can't do that. They can't mm -hmm. replicate seeing them in person we need more advocates either for having all these animals with us or even not mm -hmm. without advocates we might not have a future with animals that would be bad yeah so that's why we really need to see these guys up personal and up front oh uh, what a them in lovely opportunity but in case people can't make it they can watch part of the programs online tell us absolutely about that. so the cool thing about Seattle Parrot Expo is that we have some geniuses that help us out <laughs> um, and uh, so those geniuses uh, help us broadcast the entire thing online. So there's going to be a whole bunch of free portions to Seattle Parrot Expo that you guys can experience on our Facebook page and on our website, um, in addition to those paid speaker things. So we'll be doing like a tour of Seattle Parrot Expo live. Um, so we'll be broadcasting that to our Facebook page and stuff like that. So it's broadcast across the world. Uh, last time we did our broadcast in 2020, we did a major broadcast then. Um, so we still had the expo back then. We saw 37 languages at 42 countries and 5,000 people tuned wow, in. Wow, beautiful. So How about that? Cool. Yeah. I'm just like getting hypnotized looking at it. Well, she actually oh. will actually say some words to you if you wanted to. Oh, oh yeah. Really so quickly, typically, if you say hi, they say hi. Hi. So we think, Jesse, can you say hi back? Hi. Hello. She really can does she say care bye? about you guys. She also will say, how, how are you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we think, Jesse, can you say, how are you? Can you say, how are you? Maybe. How are you? How are you? They said it. Can you say it? No. How are you? How are you? Oh, there oh, it is. Yeah. Wow. So, Debbie, yeah. So yeah, so when it comes to talk, thank, thank you. you so much for coming in. <laughs> well, I was just say, just, oh, just for a fast, when it comes yeah. to talking, it's up to them. So if they find it interesting, yes. they say it. Don't expect it when you oh, own a bird. very nice. Yes. Okay, now we can <laughs> Yeah, more information about them on our website. And up next, Seabird on Bainbridge Island here to tell us all about this.